Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel CAC Concepts with Parenta. In today's video, we are going to see one very important as well as interesting thing that how to make an ID card with the help of simple MS Word file. We are not going to use any uh, other like we are not going to use any advanced tools. We are not going to use any command anything else we are just going to use ms word and only with the help of simple ms word file we are going to see how to make our id card so this id card can be of any professional can be of any corporate can be of any student it can be made very attractively but at the same time very easily and very less time okay so today i'm going to make you learn that thing so first of all uh, what we need to do uh, this is the whole word file as you can see in the screen but we need to set the size right uh, so how to set the size for that you will go to this layout or page layout option you will go to the size menu okay you will select the size option and in the size option there are some default sizes available here but we want to take the standard size of i card right so we will go in the last option that says more paper sizes so click on more paper sizes you will get the option to select width and height so for the standard id card generally the width is 6.7 centimeter and the height is 9.9 .9 centimeter all right 6.7 centimeter 9.9 .9 centimeter we have said that and then we will do it as okay so as you can see in the screen now this is your standard id card size now we will start constructing our id card uh, guys we will try to make it little attractive so for that let's take an attractive standard design how can we make that go to insert uh, go to shapes from the flowchart let's take the shape flowchart delay okay i have taken that shake that shape okay now let's rotate it rotate rotate right 90 degree okay we have rotated it thoda set kar lete hain isko okay so i have taken this all right now again let's insert shape let's insert this right triangle shape again let's rotate it right let's copy control c and control v copy paste it for one more this one again let's rotate it okay so we have rotated it now uh, let's try to fix it properly we are trying to put this in center okay so resize it little bit accordingly i think we are done now yes now let's try to change the color okay so i am selecting the side to right angles and let's take a light color shape format shape fill and let's take any color like this okay i think this is good enough we can take that uh, uh, uh. Yes, we can take that. All right. This को थोड़ा सा set कर लेते हैं. और ये बीच का जो हमारा है shape, इसको थोड़ा dark color कर देते हैं. Uh, let's color it maybe black. Yeah, I think it is good enough. Now right click on it and click on bring to front. Okay. Yes, this is what we wanted. All right. Now I want to insert a picture. Okay. So uh, you have to make your i card and like what for whatever reason you are making your i card the photo should be there accordingly. So what we need to do insert. Let us insert shape first. I am inserting this kind of shape. Fine. And now in this shape I want to insert photograph right. So we have inserted the shape. 
Now in the shape, again click on this shape, shape fill, go to the shape fill, in shape format, shape fill, now click on the picture. Insert picture from a file, you must have a picture in your uh, computer, go to the folder wherever the picture is and then select the picture that you want to display here, okay. So, I am selecting my picture. So, here I have set my picture, you can take any passport size photograph of yours, okay. Uh, all right, I think this is looking fine. I don't want any uh, outline here, so shape outline and then click on no outline, okay. So, now no outline is there, uh, all right. Now, let us write the name, obviously, obviously we do need name, right. So, insert text box, you can take any of the text boxes, we will want one text box, simple text we want, okay. We want to write our name and designation there, fine. So, if you are a student, you can write your designation as student, you can mention your student, you can mention your section also, right. For example, I am writing, I am writing my name, you can write your name. And then uh, let us say assistant professor, you can write student in bracket, you can mention section A, section G, section F, whatever it is, okay. Okay, so I have done this thing. Now let me decrease the size a bit. I am making it center aligned and then I am inserting it in the right position. Let us change the font color to white. I think white will look better in black. Okay. Uh, just trying to adjust the size accordingly. Fine. I think now it is looking good. Okay. So, uh, you have to click your photograph. You have to paste your photograph here and then you have to write your name. Name and designation we have written here. Now, we will add extra details. For extra details, again go to insert, insert one text box, take any text box that you want, okay. Now, we have to insert other information here. What are the other information? Other information like your ID card number, your DOB, we have to insert those things here, okay. Let us take it here, okay. ID number. ID number, uh, let, let it be any number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then DOB, make sure this column should come one after the other so that it will look good and it will look professional. I am entering my DOB, you can enter yours or whose ever the I card is, then let us enter the mobile number, you can enter the mobile number accordingly, okay, okay, then let us say we are also entering the email, okay, email. We will adjust the size accordingly, do not worry, it will not look so messy, okay, we will adjust it. Let us complete writing our text first, abc at the rate, gmail.com, I am writing one dummy email for now. Let us change the font color to black, let us bold everything, okay, let us decrease the size space. Now, let us see if it is fitting properly. You can come here and reduce the line spacing. It is 8 pixels here, you can reduce it to 2. Alright, now it is looking good. Fine. Now, what else? So, this one's thing is done. Now, in the footer part, two important things that we want in our ID card is obviously the company name or the organization name or the university name and uh, barcode. Barcode is very, very important for any ID card. I have received uh, questions from many students that how to ins insert the ID card by default in the MS Word. So, guys, this is again a very important process. Understand it properly how to insert the barcode in any ID card, okay. So, you need to understand that barcode is unique for any XYZ person, okay. So, uh, let us say 
for my name because here I am making my ID card. So for my ID number and my name, there will be a unique barcode. So how can you insert barcode in your uh, from your MS Word? So let's say I want to uh, generate barcode for my ID number and my name. So let's say I am having one two three four five six. One two three four five six was my ID number. So ID number space my name. So let's say we have done that. And for this part, I want to, um, I want this to be converted into a unique barcode. So for that, I am having one font of barcode, home and then barcode. See, I am having a font for barcode. I will change here to this font. Now, if you are already having this font, it is very good. In case you don't have that font, because I was also not having the font, I have downloaded it just now. So if you are having any font for barcode, how you can search it? Search, try searching barcode or try searching code here. Okay. So if you get any any of the code here related to barcode or code, it's good. And if you don't have any such code, any such font like that, what you can do? You can go to the Google. Let me quickly show you. You can type in the Google. Agar aapke paas, uh, see, I hope you are getting it. Agar aapke paas, jaise maine bataya ki mere paas yahan pe, ye barcode ka automatically ek font hai. Automatically nahi hai. Ye maine dala hua hai. To agar aap by default dekhna, agar aapke paas ye font hai, to thik hai. Agar aapke paas ye font nahi hai, to aapko download karna padega. Fine. If you want such a font in your MS Word, and by default it is not there, you need to install it. Now, how to download or how to install it? Go to Google, search for Google Fonts. Okay, search for Google Fonts. You will get first website, something like this, https fonts.google.com. You have to go to this Google Fonts page. Okay, so here you will get plenty of fonts, but we want the font related to barcode. Okay, so search barcode. Here you are having search button. And whichever font, see, as soon as I wrote barcode, I am getting many fonts for the barcode. And whichever I want to download, I will just click on this barcode and I will do here download family. Okay. So as soon as you will click on download family, this code will be downloaded and you will get a zip code, zip file like this. Libre barcode 39, like this zip file you will get. What you need to do? You need to right click on it and you need to extract it. Okay. You need to extract it. I have extracted it and then I got a new folder like this. Now, after extracting, you will get a new folder where you will get one text document and you will get another font file. It, it, it will be of the type true type font file or you, you can see the TTFF. Okay. So, you will have to double click on this file. You will get something like this and you will get two options print and install. I have already installed it, so I will not do it again, but you have to click on this install button. Okay. As soon as you will click on this install button, it will automatically be installed and uh, you can see this in your MS Word. Okay. So, click on this install button and once for once, what you can do is click on this install. Once it is installed properly, close your MS Word, save the file, close your file, again open the MS Word and then once you restart or again open your MS Word, you can click here and you can see that you can see the new font here. Okay. It is pretty simple. Do it. I have already told you the steps. So, you have to click on this font. It will generate a unique barcode for whatever you have written. I had written what? I had written my ID number and my name and unique barcode will be generated with the help of that. So, once you have set the barcode properly, now the next step that you need to do is after the barcode, you have to mention the organization name or the university name that you are working in. Okay. So, whatever the name is, let's write WXYZ, the university. You can write the name of yours. Okay. Uh, again, you can update it or color it as you feel like. We can use any, any font for that. Okay. In order to make attractive, you can use anything like this or, or it is completely up to you. Fine, let's do it central line and you are good to go. So, this is how we have made our iCard. Okay, as you can see, this is a very simple, sober, but at the same time, attractive ID card. 
so similarly you can make the id card for yourself you can add or remove some things from this id card as per your requirement fine so this is how you can make it now in the next video i am going to show you or i am going to make you learn that how with the help of mail merge you can generate multiple id cards at once for different people let's say in a class if you are having 100 students or 1000 students or even more than that you can automatically generate all the id cards with the help of simple ms word so we are going to learn that also but till that time i hope you learned how to make the id card and in case you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section thank you